Thank you for this. Yes, you can connect Workflow Builder to external apps. I'm not sure what you mean about posting daily from a spreadsheet, but I have another example that I think you'll enjoy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect information, let's say it's t-shirt sizes for an upcoming event, and I want all of my teammates to have their t-shirts in hand before the event. So I'm gonna show you how to build a very simple workflow to collect their name, t-shirt size, and shipping address, collect that all in Slack, and send it automatically to a Google Sheets. So I'm in Slack, I'm gonna to go to Automations. Upper right-hand corner, I'm gonna click New, Build Workflow. I first wanna edit the workflow details, that's all taken care of. I'm gonna click save. So I'm gonna choose an event. In other words, what's gonna kick off this automation? It's going to be a link in Slack. So after someone clicks on that link, what happens? I wanna collect information in a form. And here's that option here. I gave the form a title, and now I wanna start adding questions. The first question is what's your full name? And the question type is going to stay as short answer because it's just their name. Then I'm gonna add another question. The next one is what's your t-shirt size? And for this one, it's not short answer, it's going to be drop down. And I'm gonna start entering in the drop down menu options, that being the t-shirt sizes. So I have my t-shirt sizes all ready to go, and then I'm gonna add another question. The last one being what's your shipping address for the t-shirt? And this one I made paragraph style, so they have room to write each line of the address. I'm gonna click done, and there we go. Now I have my form, I'm gonna click save, and so starting from a link in Slack, they're gonna fill out a form, and what happens with that form information? Here's the fun part. You're gonna send it to a Google Sheets, which will open up a window like this. Just make sure you connect your Gmail account because then it can pull in your spreadsheets. I have a spreadsheet called Event Merch Shipping Information, which you can see right here. When I selected this sheet, it labeled it as Sheet 1, which is correct, Sheet 1. I'm gonna click Next, and here we have all the titles of each column in the spreadsheet, name, t-shirt, and address which you can see here. The next thing I'm gonna do is just add the values. So for name, it's the answer to what's your full name in the form that we just built. In t-shirt size, it's what's your t-shirt size. And in address, it's what's your address. I'm gonna click save. And there's our workflow. From a link in Slack, we fill out a form. That form information goes into the spreadsheet as a new row. The next thing we're gonna do is finish up, make sure everything looks good, click publish. And there we have it. Our workflow is published. Now let me show you how this actually works. So remember, it starts from a link in Slack. So I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna paste it in team marketing and send it. And you can see it unfurls like this. I'm gonna click start workflow. I'm gonna fill out my information. I filled out my information. Now I'm gonna submit. And so now you can see everything I submitted in the workflow is now on the Google Sheet. And that's it. This is a really great way to connect Google Sheets and Workflow Builder, especially for information collecting.